All right, I'm gonna admit it, it is getting a little bit crowded in here and I would very much like for our shelter to be able to go up in reputation so that I could buy some more of the surrounding land, but that's okay because we do have some projects to help out more of the wonderful animals who need shelter and care and hopefully help out our reputation with taking in new animals to our clinic, you guys. I can't believe how quickly everything is moving. So Comet is doing well inside of his little cage let's actually check in on comet let's see comet adaptability is going up fun is not very high so let's actually take good care of comet for just a second does petting him make his fun go up i think petting him helps his fun go up a little bit so we'll give him lots of pets there we go and you can actually see on his little chart there's like a line for when you pet him enough there all right so that helped and then i do want comet to be able to go ahead and like play so we can get more of his fun up before I have to get ready to help out this dog. Hey, Comet, Comet, you wanna play? <gasps> oh, he's chasing the laser. Oh my gosh, this is actually really cute. This is actually really cute. I didn't expect to have this much fun. <laughs> Okay, that is actually fantastic for Comet, I think, because it also takes good care of Comet's need for uh, enrichment. Look at you! Aren't you just such a cutie? Hang on, I'm gonna try to take a picture of you. Oh wait, I need to get down. Comet, can I? Yeah! Hello, little friend! Oh my goodness! Alright, a couple pictures of the kitty cat. Very important to do. Uh, oh, how do I, how do I put this away? Okay. Uh, to disable. What if I'm in? What if I'm done? Okay, there we go. So we have a couple pictures of the cat. Cat is playing. Then we also have the dog whose paw is hopefully doing much better. Do we still have the bandage? We do still have the bandage. Hey, Sadie, how are you doing? So Sadie likes children. She has a large bladder and a happy belly and she's actually doing fantastic. So I'm glad to see that. I need more cookies and things to be able to feed them. But right now, guys, we need to go ahead and carry on with taking a sick animal into our shelter. I don't know what the sick animal uh, is going to need. So we'll check in on this one in just a second. I just want to try to like think beyond this. Like, do we need patches? Syringe? Like there's a lot of stuff we might have to do. So let's go to the, the in need. And then this animal is sick. You need a veterinary clinic to take it in. Okay, so we're gonna take this this animal in. And this is actually going to be Neo after Fuji's dog. There we go. So welcome to Neo. Uh, the animal is sick. Yes. So take a syringe for a blood sample. Take the blood sample from the animal. Send the blood sample to the vet by dropping it into the box outside the clinic. Wait for the vet's email and then buy the proper medicine and heal the animal. Okay. So we're going to be needing medicine, uh, syringes for blood collection, which sound kind of important. So I'm gonna buy some of those and then let's buy some vet food, a razor, a patch, a suppository and some tweezers uh, for these little guys. And then I'm gonna get more cookies. I'm coming, I'm coming. And then we're gonna confirm this order, phew. All right, so we have a lot that we need to do for poor Neo. Okay, things are getting delivered. Packages have been dropped off. <gasps> a Dalmatian! I've never seen a Dalmatian pup here before. Oh, Neo! Oh my gosh! Oh, look at him! Okay, so he's sick though, so we need to figure out why he is sick. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do the syringe. An internal veterinarian. Pills. Use a mouse, take one of the pill, and directly put it in the animal's mouth. Make sure that the animal needs it. We don't want to do more harm than good. Then there's also, unfortunately, the suppository, which is actually a very important way to distribute medicines to your, uh, to your animals. And then taking probes. Buy a computer, purchase a sampling syringe. After receiving and storing the package in your inventory, take the sick, pet, the sick pet to the clinic and put it on the operating table. Collect blood from the patient using a previously purchased syringe. Put the sample in the box outside, wait for a message, read it, and then purchase the correct medication. Okay, so here is our, our sample. Oh, if you're afraid of needles, be wary. Uh, and then we need to, sorry, little one. Okay, was that over quickly? I can't believe I climbed up here. I don't know how I got up there. 
Uh, and then we put it in the mailbox. And then we have to wait for the email from the vet. The animal doesn't seem to be injured, but it is sick. Neo is trustful and noisy. Oh, the health results are now available. Okay, so I need to be able to read the email. Hang on, I think Neo will stay there. So we're gonna come rushing over here. How do I buy pills? The right kind of medicine for our sick animal, because I don't want to use the wrong kind. Uh, cold treatment pills. The ASF vet. So that's for Neo. Okay, so how do I get the the medicine? Veterinary food, eye drops, pills! Okay, so now we can go ahead and we can confirm the order. Uh, I'm gonna get like four pills and then like five eye drops and then syringe with medicine. We're gonna get five of those too just so that we're prepared and ready. And I think what I'm gonna try doing is picking up the entire box with all of the stuff inside of it. Can I do that? Okay. So here's like everything. I'm beginning to, to become a master of how we can, okay, I'm gonna put this down because then what I can do is I can open it and I can just grab one pill. <gasps> That's brilliant. I'm gonna do that with a box of cookies. Oh my gosh. There you go, Neo. And so now Neo, I think, should be all better. And unlock another star reputation. Neo's all better, you guys! Huzzah! All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna take Neo back. And we're gonna let him play in one of these rooms over here. I'm gonna make sure the food and water is topped off. Well, there you go, Neo. Neo's ready to get some food. And then we'll get the adoptability on Neo up and going. And then meanwhile, we have Sadie over here just happy and playing up. So let's check. I think now we need to just work on taking care of the animals and like trying to get more stars. Look, you can see. We could get another cat, you guys. And we can actually go ahead and we can make something about Comet or Sadie. We can make a little ad about Sadie. Do we have a picture of Sadie uploaded yet? We do not. All right, I need, where did my Sadie picture go? I better not have lost it. I've got to start scanning in all of these pictures because my little pictures are vanishing because there's some sort of terrible office cleaning gremlin showing up and just like getting rid of all of my, my miscellaneous collections of small piles of things. And I can't store anything inside these boxes. I really wish I could so I could just keep like hundreds of these pictures. All right, we're gonna scan both of these for Sadie. And then once that's done, I wonder if I can actually buy a better camera. There's a fun idea. Let's see, other. Cause there's a tripod and then a really nice camera that I think will actually end up here when we have reputation level three. And right now we have reputation level one. <laughs> I really want to make it better. Okay, so now we have animals in shelter. Sadie, let's create an ad for Sadie. Out of this picture of her uh, when she unfortunately was really sick. And then let's see if we can make an ad for Comet. And then here's Comet being a good cat. Incorrect photo. That is Comet. Okay, for some reason the other one didn't count as Comet. All right, so Neo is currently needing some fun and needing uh, to use the restroom. So we'll take care of Neo in just a second. And Comet, meanwhile, is a kind natured but aggressive cat who is not good with kids and wants to have literally an entire big house with somebody to spoil them with lots of free time. No other like cats or dogs in the house are acceptable. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So this woman does not want an aggressive cat. So we're going to have to go ahead and say, sorry, ma'am, not a good fit. And this guy wants a kind natured cat. He doesn't care for gluttons or, um, energetic cats, but we can send an employee to Adam and we'll see if that's a good fit. Uh, meanwhile, Aaron is also interested in a kind natured. So we'll see if one of those two are, let's see, kind natured likes children. Sir, that's not this cat. He hates children. All right, let's see. So this guy has a small house with another cat. I don't know if that'd be a good fit. 
This guy has another cat and kids in the house. Ooh, he has time and it's a big house. All right, we're gonna keep that one for just a minute. Oof, let's see, kind natured, he's busy. He has a small house and a cat. Uh, and he doesn't have time. Okay, Adam, I don't think you're gonna fit. Uh, oh, Nicole, okay, Nicole. She does not want an aggressive cat. I'm sorry, that's not Comet. <laughs> oh my gosh, Comet, you're gonna be a little bit of a handful to try to like match with somebody, just saying. Meanwhile, Sadie is ready for adoption. She loves kids and has a large bladder, so she wants kids in the house. This woman, Nicole, wants a dog with a large bladder. And then we also have large bladder, intelligent, calm. Siren here, who is looking for somebody. All right, meanwhile for Nicole, she's an adult in the house without children. So really, the thing is, Sadie really wants kids to play with. Like, she really wants to have some kids to play with, and there's no kids to play with in both of these households, and they're just, like, happy. The only thing they like about Sadie is that she has a large bladder. I feel like I want a little bit more for them in life. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Marianne Fisher is here for Comet. Oh my gosh, this is, I, I just, I can't believe so many people are applying to try to adopt them. Well, Sadie, you really love kids. Do we have anybody else? What about for Comet? Okay, oh, Comet. I think we just found you. <gasps> the perfect person! Woo! Marianne Fisher! Because she has a large house, no other cats or dogs. She has lots of time. She wants a kind-natured cat. She doesn't care if he's aggressive as long as uh, he is not... A, a glutton. It's perfect! Comet, we found you a home! Oh my gosh! Okay, good. Meanwhile, Nicole, does anybody else want our, let's see, kind, loyal, want our Sadie? She's got large bladder. I'm gonna try to find a house that has kids, because that's what Sadie really cares about, is she really wants to find a house that has kids. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're also going to take in a new cat because we just adopted out the old cat. So let me randomize the creator after some of your guys' pets. And we're going to take in this animal. And we're going to name it Zoomer. Oh, what a cute name, Ariana. I really like that. We'll have Zoomer. And look at this cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have uh, another cat. And we're going to actually name them. Let's see. So this is going to be Kiriki. Kiriki, magic wolf. That is not a dog, but I hope you will accept a new cat having come to join us. We'll have to see how many cats I can have at once. All right, and then it's time for Comet to be adopted. That escalated really quickly, Comet. Hey, buddy. He's taking a little cat nap. Oh my gosh. Comet, I'm so happy we found you all a great, perfect home. A perfect home, you might say. Because it matched up so wonderfully since, you know, she had time, she didn't have any other animals or anything. Look at that! That was awesome. That's like 900 reputation points awesome. Alright, so he's off. I also need to let one of the dogs out to go to the restroom. So before we grab the cats, I'm going to release our poor little one. Hey, buddy! Neo, I'm sorry that I've been taking so long. It's gonna start getting busier now that we have all these animals. <gasps> Neo's brave, you guys! Oh, that's so cute! And I guess Neo's already ready for me to take a picture of them. How, oops, I keep using, <laughs> All right, well, I don't wanna take a picture of you while you're peeing, Neo. Oh my gosh, and hopefully that'll go. Okay, fine, Neo, I'll come back. You're not in a very photogenic position, I'm just saying. And this is the the swing of things, guys. Now we have new kitty cats. And now we just need to continue working and doing our best to try to go ahead and upgrade everything. I love it. So away goes one of the vans. We're about to get another cat. Then we just need to take good care of the cats and the dogs and make sure nobody has too many injuries or anything like that. Uh, and get everybody happy homes. Huzzah! All right. Pretty sure we have another cat coming at any minute now. Oh, 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 oh. Sure enough, there it is. This is gonna be a good 
a good run. We're going to make this place really wonderful and we're going to take good care of all the animals and we're going to find out more about your guys, cats and dogs and pets that you have shared your lives with as time goes on. This is going to be fantastic. Welcome little one. And now we have the intelligent troublemaker Kariki. That's adorable. And then let's see, Zoomer is a happy belly who's noisy and currently using the litter box. Good job, Zoomer. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure today. I'm so happy we were able to go ahead and help the little Dalmatian puppy get better. I'm so happy that all of the, the dogs, oh, they're having a good time playing together. Everything is going to turn out great. I just feel it in my bones. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our cats and dogs having a great time here at the shelter. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!